Hope you can hear me okay. Hope we don't get any buffering. But if we do, I shall end the stream and not do it again. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> here we go. Riffer 3. Brilliant. Brilliant. Game changing. Game changing for Riffer users. Awesome stuff. Can you hear me okay? This is the most important thing. Oh, might be a bit loud there. Um, let's see. Let's see. One, 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 one. Okay, so uh, let's see. Loud and clear, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, hopefully we won't get any buffering. I have actually made a proper video for this, spent all day doing it. Right, tried to upload it to YouTube, it uploaded, and then YouTube were having some issues with actually processing the video on time, sort of thing. So I thought, well, sod it, I'll do it, I'll do a live stream. Anyway, you have now basically have four riffers in one. Okay. Now this is I think is a free update as well, so which is really cool. So riffer one, riffer two, riffer three, riffer four can function entirely independently of each other, whichever parameter you decide to adjust. So before I get into the actual tutorial part of this to show you how riffer works, I'll show you the kind of thing it can do. So what I'm gonna do is just set playoff and in this first channel here i have hillman and in the second channel i have synthmaster one and then i have a mood unit and then i have a tal uno x and they're all playing at the moment except that i'm just going to start to fade stuff in which is very very cool i'm going to close the microphone and uh, give you a bit of a blast
Okay, so that's the really cool stuff you can do. <coughs> Riff is connected with AUM because it's a AUV3 MIDI controller, non your buzz. Uh, okay, so let's see what we can do. We have four riffers. You can control all the riffers at the same time, like all the parameters and stuff. If you hit all, all is, all is really handy if you want to change key or you want to change the scale. Okay, so if you like a particular bunch of notes, like you'll see at the moment, I have this set on eight notes and this is for actually um, Synthmaster 1. So all we need to do, if we want to set this to something like 16, we can drag up like this to 16. And now once we refresh, there'll be 16 notes displayed on the display. Okay. You set this up via MIDI like this. You have this one riffer in here and then, so, sorry, here, you select none for the MIDI Okay, and then choose, so say none, and then choose channel one for Hillman, and that will re be related to channel one inside Riffer. And then also you just go along and do exactly the same thing as well. You select none and then select the channel you would like Riffer to play Synthmaster one on, two, because each four Riffers, one, two, three, and four, default to MIDI channels one, two, three, and four, but you can change that there like this, you see. Um, so that's how you set it up. You just carry on adding your, like for instance, in mood units is number three, you see, none, and then three, and then tal is number four, and then River will just play these instruments independently. Now you can just have one instrument, right? Say for instance, you just had like a BS-16 piano <coughs> or something like that. You could assign a BS-16, it could just be Omni. All of the channels could be assigned to BS-16 and that makes Riffer polyphonic. So you could have piano on this, piano on this. We might, we might do this, we might do this in the end, show you how to set that up. It sounds really, really nice because you can start to alter each in each individual track. Okay, so let, let's see what we've got. Let's play. And I will solo Synth Master and go to its channel, which is channel two. Okay. So, oh, by the way, hi, everybody. Hope you are all okay as well. <laughs> Quite a lot to get through here. Now, at the moment, if I switch this off, the infinite, this is going to stay exactly the same for every single pass. Okay. It's not going to change. And let me turn, you see these two notes here, these four notes are tied together. Let me turn tie off. There you go. And you hear the ratchet in there. The ratchet in is now part of the new density feature. Which is which is really very nice. Now the thing to remember, if you hit randomize. It randomizes all four controller lanes, if you like. If you don't want a particular, let me just stop that. If you don't want a particular controller lane to be randomized, all you need to do is lock it. So if you didn't want the pitch to be randomized, you would select pitch here. There's always going to be one of these selected. Okay, so, you know, it could be the, <coughs> the pitch, the duration the velocity or the density. If you want to lock the pitch, all of it, you just hit this little lock icon here and you'll see the color will slightly change along the top here, like that. And then you, this is locked. So if you randomize now, this will not change, but the duration, the velocity, and the density will change. So for example, to demonstrate this, let's hit our dice here. You can't see it, but all this other stuff, that's all still randomizing. Okay, so like for like that, then it is. And we could, like I think this here, so five, 
it will put five randomizations in or 10 even they've defaulted it to two which is kind of sensible let's make it three uh, so that's what that little button does just it determines how many randomization how many times it will randomize when you kind of select the pattern there if you wanted to hold the velocity as well you can notice that the little lock icon is independent for each and uh, every one of these controller lanes so if we wanted to just hold the density for instance we just lock that and now the only three things that are going to change are the velocity and the duration so th that's how you set this up easy the thing is if you look at pitch now and we have this on 16 we can limit the number of notes that are generated per page okay so for instance we can just type the number in if we like we could just go right eight like this and next time it randomizes like this ah, now you see it won't because of the pitch let's check the pitch off randomize and you'll see that some of them are grayed out and there's eight grayed out and there's eight active okay R yes riffer is four mono tracks well uh sam sorry sorry sam yeah it is four mono tracks yeah so th i thought that everyone knew that anyway but anyway so th th that that's that's how it works that's how that part works okay so you decide what you want to randomize Let's not randomize. Let's have everything unlocked because it's more fun. Uh, and it's all unlocked. Now, you decide how many notes are going to be generated per... I read somewhere that using chord scales... No, nah. uh, I don't think so. I haven't come across that. It, it, you might be able to, but I don't, I don't know. You might be able to if it's in poly mode, which is using all four multi-track lanes. But honestly, Sam, I don't, I don't know at all. You might be right, mate. You, honestly, you might be right. I don't know. Um, so let's put this back up to 16. This is how I use Riffy, you know. <coughs> okay, resolution. Let's go over to this side. But before we do, I'm going to regenerate 16 notes in this pattern. Make sure my actual um, inf infinity control is switched off. Now, say, for instance, you like a certain number of notes and you want to keep those notes, Okay. This is this is the this is how you do that. You hit this little key icon here that says notes. You choose the notes that you want to keep, and you you'll see at the top here they'll change color. It's very difficult to see on this, I know, but so let's say we've kept these these uh, six notes. So every time I randomize now, these six notes here will will remain exactly the same. They're locked. See, they just won't change. They're always going to be there, no matter how many times you randomize the feature. If you want to clear all that, just press back and it clears that. And it's the same for the steps. If you want to keep particular steps in all of it, you use the step function and you'll see it'll just change to a darker blue. So no matter what you randomize now, the step function is always going to be the same. Well, there's nothing there, but it'll always be the same. It will never randomize steps again or steps delete and switch it off so that's how you can set up um really really customizable stuff uh oh no no buffering don't want buffering okay so let's 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 crack on as best we can right let's go back to pitch because it's easier to see bear in mind that unless you have a parameter locked down here Every time this changes now, it will randomize everything as per normal. So watch, if I have this set on one, the infinity set on one, let's play. For every single pass, it will randomize. But it randomizes everything. Again, we can set this What's nice is we can set this randomization feature, well, how often it changes its pattern. We can set this up to, I'm not sure, let's have a look, shall we? Well, my, my, you can go quite the way. We'll leave it on um, one. <coughs> okay, so let's leave it on that particular pattern. Let's have a look at the actual resolution now. And again, this is independent for every single track, so, you know. The feature 
The density feature is fabulous, isn't it? It's, it's ratcheting. Really nice. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go back to pitch. Let's look at the resolution. And I've got a shuffle on the 60. Let's tie notes on. What tie notes on means is if I add some more notes here, look, all these notes are going to be, you can add notes, by the way, in, in what's it? Um, let's all these notes are now tied together. So if we have sustain on as well, what it will basically does, it's like just having the note sustained till the next note changes, which is very cool. So if you if you really like that, it's cool. We could bring in. Now the thing I was saying about the all, but at the moment it's on all. If you have all switched off, each one just, is just totally independent of itself. The problem with that is, right, is if I have this synth master playing on a, in a G and all is switched off. If I change key, it's gonna be out of tune, basically. So the best thing to do if you're changing key or changing scale is make sure all is engaged and then everything changes correctly. Which is lovely. And the same applies to the key. Now they've all changed to that scale now, which is a bit strange anyway. But Okay, let's say we want to clear out one particular, let's look at the towel page. And you'll see that I've got notes tied on and on, on off there. Without those, it's more. <clears throat> and what I shall do is I shall solo out the towel instrument here. Let me turn it up a little bit if you like. nice okay so what we can do is we can and we can do all this on the fly by the way it's not like a it's not like a thing <coughs> excuse me if we drag up the pitch range like this whatever the screen whatever screen the visibility of the screen is will will be populated by the number of notes right or the number of steps we can drag the notes up, right? We can drag the notes up to, right? We can drag, if we drag the steps up further to say 34, and we can drag the notes up then to 34, we can extend our loop length to 34. 34 is a bit mad, let's do 32. Can't see, but there you go. 32 and we'll set this for 32 as well and you can go up to 64 i'll just i'll type it in it's blinking easier i'll set this for 32 as well 
Now everything will populate like this. So the number of notes will be 27. Let's do this at 32 notes because we can on this. Now we've got 32 notes, 32 steps and a loop point of 32. We can change our loop point here, you see. Then we could adjust this to like say a 16th. And it's ping ponging now, you see, because I have ping pong switched on. So the direction here is forward, um, backwards, or forwards and backwards, or backwards and forwards, depending on your your point of view. Let's leave it on ping pong like this. And let's just say tie notes on. Oh, look at this, DSP's freaking out, look. Or sustain. Okay, so that's quite a lot for my DSP to handle. Bearing in mind all the other stuff's running in the background as well, you see. So let's set these back to, say, normal, say 16, and say, well, what's the easiest way to do that? It's 16 steps. And of course you can go in, I've got 16 steps here, and pitch ranges, I'll reduce that again. So it will only generate notes within the screen that it can actually see, and you can you can push that up. What this does is just basically move your range that you can see up and down. And like I said, at any time, you can add notes in manually. It's not a problem like, you know, this kind of thing. If you tap the keyboard, then it will just set it back into the correct. So you can't add wrong notes. <laughs> if you've added a load of notes in like that and go, oh, right, uh, that's not going to be pent or not. If you, put, if you hit the little keyboard there, it will shift any notes that you've added into the pentatonic minor scale or whatever scale you have it actually set at, you know. So you're, 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 you're actually good to go with that. Um, so tie note, root note, right. If you've got root, this is switched on. What will happen is when I regenerate this, right, our root note is A, right? So it's there and it's there. You will see that if I set this to one and I do this, there is only gonna be one uh, A, should theoretically only be one A present in this, in this actual sequence. And it is, it's this one. Uh, if I set it to, let's just go mad, let's set it to seven and I generate, you'll get seven uh, A's in there, up around there, you know what I mean? So you can choose how many root notes uh, are are set in the actual key, or your, your, your grid, when you set the root note there. So we've covered shuffle, etc., etc. We've covered pretty much all of it. To be fair, I don't want to go on too long because I'm scared. I'm scared it's going to start buffering and, and stuff. You know, <coughs> we've covered this. We know about the infinity mode. We've done that. Uh, this is a cool one. This little keyboard here. I haven't got a MIDI keyboard plugged in, but if I did, what you can do now is engage this keyboard for any of the patterns. Let's say the let's say the the bass one. So let us bring it back in. Everything else as well. Just turn that off. Press play. So you can hear the bass in the background. Press that keyboard. And because I've got all switched on, it's all stopped. So turn all off. And on the instrument you want to stop. So the bass has stopped, but the other things are playing now. Just hit this. And you can do it for this as well. So 
wherever wherever you are or all of them which is super good fun and an interesting and is an interesting performance uh, tool that you can use. So I've, I've covered this section. OK, uh, it's duration is like a gate. For instance, let's choose uh, sequence number two, which is the synth master player. If we gator, and then we could even go. And then let's set it to change after each pass, backwards and forwards. Let's set the up to eight for the density. Totally erase it. And what it will do is because it's on infinite, when it comes back, it will just regenerate itself. Let's take it down an octave. Two octaves. Yeah, infinite nodes on, so it changes each time. Yeah, but you can you you can choose how many bars it takes to change side. You, if you wanted it to change every four bars, you just set that to four, and this will just stay the same for four for four passes. It's not bars really, it's how many, how the sequencer is set up. Four passes of that sequencer. So, you know. Now presets are cool. You can save as many presets as you like, but you have instant kind of access to 16 of them here. And they've already surprised you with a few, but you can save an infinite amount of sequences. If you like a particular sequence at any time, all you need to do is hit one of those buttons or this button here. And this will now be sequence seven. So if we, and then we go to sequence six. This is sequence six, let's get that off solo. Let's go to sequence seven. Let's take that up a few octaves, I think. Okay, I want to do, show you one more thing before we go. I'm going to show you that kind of poly mode thing goes on about and how cool it is. So what we're going to do is just clear out that. Add a MIDI. Add one channel. I'm going to add a BS16. Excuse me. And I'm going to leave it on the default stereo grand because it's just a, it's a piano and it's dead basic. Okay, so well, it's been out for ages, this has. Red Sky Lullaby. Um, it's been out for for, for, for for a while. Riffer has. Anyway, let's add add a riffer in. Um, there we go. What we could let's look at this now. We just want to connect this to Riffer. Okay. And then on our MIDI, it doesn't really matter. We could filter it to one, two, three, and four, but there's nothing else running. There's nothing else being having MIDI sent to it or anything. So we can leave it bunk as it is, all notes uh, on. So 
or just select all. It doesn't really matter. Make sure that you're connected to Riffer, of course, like this. And then go into Riffer. And this is a fresh, clean instance. There is nothing in there. So I'm just going to, on this first one, I'm just going to randomize. I'm going to, it's well, leave it on minor and leave it on C minor for the purposes of the demo. And hit play. I'm just going to make sure this is down a bit because. I'm going to slow the. So this is on a 1 16th uh, resolution. Let's go to riffer number two. I'm going to set this to a 1 8. I'm going to knock it down an octave and generate. First one seems a bit loud. Cool. Let's go to R1. Let's go to velocity this time. Let's go to number three. Let's set this on a quarter resolution. Let's go maybe up an octave quarter resolution I'm going to limit the number of notes to 8 go to velocity here So, let's go to the fourth, just for fun. Let's set that at a 30 second. Let's set it quite high. Um, let's check our velocity down a bit on that one. Let's have that random. I'm going to lock the velocity. Now we've got four sequences running BS16. So bear in mind, you can only do this with a poly synth or a poly keyboard. Save that as preset one. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm going to do now, is engage all, and then start to change the, Select all, change the scale.
And there you go. There you go, guys. <laughs> Riffer. Riffer. In a nutshell, everything you need to know about the new update, which is mind-bogglingly good. <coughs> excuse me. Just excuse me one sec. some of the cool stuff too it's an update well <laughs> so you know it's just an update i don't think it's i don't think it's a, a paid update i think it's just uh just an update update you know what i mean you just update it that's what i did <laughs> just up just updated it anyway guys thank you so much for joining me this evening bless you all thank you very much uh it's much appreciated at all, as always if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed uh strike the like that's cool um and also uh consider becoming a patreon from as little as a dollar a month even if it's just for christmas to help support me and joe here at the sound test room anyway thank you very very much i think basically covered the entire app in some detail um yeah I mean, you can go mad. Look, look, you could fill it with everything. Gosh, God, we go ooh, bonkers. You can go bonkers. You have an awful lot of uh, scales to play with as well, which is nice. You can pretty much control all your instruments with Riffer. Uh, I I really like Riffer. I think it's uh, I think it's a clever. I think it's a responsive app. I think it's it's. I think it's easy to understand. I think at first, when you first look at it, and you've, you're seeing all this. But it's logical, you know, how they've got this, let me see that, how we've got this set. You can move up and down like this as well. It's a, basically transposing. But like I said, unless all is selected, it's going to sound a bit weird if you're using four channels. Guys, uh, I can, I'll let you say ta to each other for a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Me and Joe uh, think you're all brill. And I will see you. You can do custom. You can do custom scales because you just you can. I, mean, I know you know you can, but all you need to do is uh, tap in your notes, <laughs> sort of thing. That's a tie on there as well, guys. And you can save that scale as well. Then um, I think as well as it right. Save as new scale down there. Ding. Um, anyway, I'll let you say to to each other for a few minutes. Brilliant. Top job, see you later. Ta-ta. River 3. Awesome.